Hello, today I'm going to be doing another problem from Leak Code that I will read right here. It's called the Word Ladder Problem, and it goes, given two words, begin word and end word, and a dictionary's word list, find the length of shortest transformation sequence from begin word to end word such that only one letter can be changed at a time, and each transformed word must exist in the word list. Note that begin word is not a transformed word. For example, if you're given the begin word of hit, H-I-T, and the end word of cog, C-O-G, and then you have a word list um, that has hot, dot, dog, lot, log, and cog, um, find the shortest transformation from hit to cog. Um, and of course, each transformation is just changing one letter of the word at a time, and then the word also has to be in our word list. Um, so one shortest transformation is hit, hot, dot, dog, and cog, and the length of that is five. So that is the problem that we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to go through how I solved this problem first um, before getting into the code. Um, so I basically made this into a graph problem and I created a graph from the list of words and, and basically connected them based on whether or not they shared most of their letters minus one. Um, so first I sorted all of the words into buckets and the buckets are basically two of the letters. So, um, so like if you have the word hot, um, it would, there would be three different buckets. It would, there would be one bucket, which is just like H O one bucket that is H blank T another bucket that is blank O T. Um, so if any of the other letters, I'm sorry, any of the other words share, share these letters in this order, then they would be put in that bucket as well. So, so, to create the buckets, we just go through all the words and split them up like that and create buckets. And then go through all the words and add them to the bucket if uh, if they share the, the same letters. Um, and then the graph is basically each word is a vertex and if the word, if the two words share most of the letters, like if they're in the same bucket, then they get an edge between them. So that is our um, our graph. And then um, to solve this problem, I'm just going to do breadth first search. And from the starting word to whatever the, the search word um, that we want to find is. So for example, in this problem, like the start word is hit. And then the end word is cog, so whenever we find cog, then we'll just look at the path to get to cog, and um, and then that will be our solution. Um, so for the lead code problem, they want you to return just the length, um, like how many steps you had to take in the path, but um, I think it's interesting to look at the actual uh, sequence of the words to uh, to perform the transformation. So. Um, that is how I solved this problem. And now next we'll get into the code. Okay, so going through the code of this, um, basically first we're gonna generate the word graph from the word list and we're gonna store, so I mentioned the buckets before, each bucket is, um, basically we take all of our words in our word list and then we, um, we create different buckets. So if we have like the word hat, then we'll have three buckets. One bucket will be H-A, blank space, one word will be H blank space T, and then the other one will be blank space AT. Um, and so then we go through and any word that has those two letters in those two spaces, they'll be in the same bucket. Um, and we're going to store those in a dictionary here, and then we initialize our graph. So then we go through our words um, in our word list and we create a vertex in the graph for each each of the words. And we go through, again, we go through the words in our word list. Um, and for, and we create the buckets that I just mentioned. Um, and so then we create edges 
between the words that are in the same buckets. Um, so we go through both of the, you know, pairs of words in the buckets. And if the words are not the same, then we'll create an edge uh, between the two words. Um, and then we just return, return that graph. And so then we're going to do a breadth first search on this graph with um, our start word, which I've actually added to the graph um, when I initialize it at the bottom. Um, and then we have our search word. So in the case of this problem, we start off with the word hit, and then we're searching for the word cog. And we're searching for the path uh, between those two words. Um, so basically, this is just a, a breadth first search. Um, we take our initial node, um, which is our start word, hit in this case, um, and we add it to a queue. And then we go through. And we get all we check all the connections to uh, to this to this node, and then you know we mark them with uh, with white, gray, and black as we as we visit each node, and uh, then we on each node we set the distance in the in the tree, and uh, and that's what we'll use at the end to to tell what what the dis what the length is um, of the path. So uh, we just continue to go through all these nodes in like a breadth first search way. So we go do the top and then we do each layer as we go. And then when we get to the word cog, which is our search word here, um, then we just return the, we get like the, the previous steps and we just return that. Um, and then in the lead code question, they just wanted you to return the length of the number of steps. Um, so you go through and if you don't find the word at all then you just return none. And so that is how this solution to the word ladder problem works.